This is the Confidential Investment Memorandum for Budget Cuts by Andrew Van Sickle. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed almost every aspect of our lives. Many things we enjoyed doing, we simply can't do right now. You could stop going to the movies, but you can't stop your hair from growing. With business as normal stopped, many folks have had to tighten their budgets and still want to look good for job interviews. And the beloved traditional barbershop is a prime location for spreading the virus. Unfortunately for you, and for these hippies, Woodstock already happened in 1969. That's where budget cuts comes in. Our discounted haircuts will meet the low-cost needs of a downtrodden economy. Management is dedicated to building a strong business that can offer creative and safe solutions to navigate the choppy waters. This investment memorandum will outline the base case as well as two additional scenarios meant to drive business and protect your potential investment. Because you're a discerning investor, we have included managerial metrics to help track profitability, efficiency, and transparency. As you look to cut your budget, let budget cuts cut your hair budget's budget. In other words, let your haircut budget take a budget cut. This is the primary scenario for budget cuts. This is a purely service-oriented business. Our revenue items are haircuts, shampoos, and beard trims. These sales prices per cut are very low, so this is a volume business. Management believes that these are conservative estimates. The basic assumption is that we can do two and a half quality haircuts per hour that we're open. Uh, we will have three barbers and be open every day except Sunday. Why Sunday? Well, barbershops are old school and rarely open on Sunday, but more on that later. We also assume that one in every haircut customer will request a beard trim, and one in five haircuts will want a shampoo. Our expenses are pretty reasonable. I mean, that's why we're called budget cuts. As a service business, our two biggest expenses are salaries and rent. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median barber's wage is $30,000 per year, and owner's salary will only be $40,000. Our location is excellent, 959 West Golf in Schaumburg. It's on a busy road in a strip mall. Come for a falafel hut, stay for budget cuts. Potential investors will be relieved to know that our management is serious about protecting your investment. In this slide, we calculate the projected break-even analysis. The units here are not just haircuts, but also beer trims and shampoos all lumped together. When you subtract the variable costs from the revenue per service, you get a per service contribution margin of $6. Each barber's service contributes $6 to meeting our projected fixed costs. We'll break even then at 9,267 services in our base case. Everything after that is gravy. At Budget Cuts, we will build our business around solving our customers' unique challenges in 2020. In order to provide safe haircuts, we could hire a barber to travel to customers' homes and provide the same great service. To make it work the, worth the while for us, the package is $6 above in-store rates and includes shampoo, cut, and trim. We expect to incur additional wage expenses and travel reimbursement expense. This option is a winner. We expect demand to be pretty good for this ultra-convenient, transparent, and safe alternative. The extra cost for customers boosts the contribution margin per unit to $7 and increases our bottom line and reduces our break-even point to 8,343 services. This scenario is management's suggested business alternative. As discussed earlier, the majority of barber shops are closed on Sundays. This scenario explores the possibility of staying open on Sundays and charging $2 more for each service. Customers would appreciate being able to get a haircut on Sunday. However, our salary expense would have to increase quite a bit to entice barbers to want to work the extra day of the week. And because of the extra labor costs, our contribution margin and profit would decrease if we tried to open on Sundays. Uh, as such, the best alternative for your investment is our second scenario. Uh, it is a plan to address the coronavirus pandemic in a unique way and it diverses, diversifies our offerings. We can increase our margins by offering a premium service. 
In conclusion, this is a safe investment. And this is not an asset-rich business, and we therefore have low startup costs. And while people have been stuck at home, they are in dire need of haircuts. Our business rationale is built for the time. People can't afford fancy haircuts. They want value. And we can give that to them in the safety of their own home. Management is dedicated to making this work. Owner's salary is barely more than what the barbers themselves are making. You can be sure that your investment is going toward the business and not the owner's bank account. And the fifth business rationale is that there'd be no more mullets. Yuck. These are our projected expenses. You can follow the underlying links to check them out. Great care was used when selecting expenses. We optimized value and style. Thank you so much for your time.